Network. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Stadium, 2.06 to play, first quarter action. The Buckaroos strike first, and they're set to kick things off to the Dragons. Jakiver Cook, the far return man for Junction City. Cavante Haynes stands at his 10-yard line along the near side. Williams has it teed up at the 40, and we're about to see from that Junction City offense once more. And this time, this one will be in the air. Haynes will catch it at about the 16 on the run. He'll tiptoe around. He's met at the 30, nowhere to go. And so that's where Gabe Richard and company will start here with two minutes to play in the first quarter. Folks, if you're joining us on the Ustream, we do apologize. It's a spotty service here in Smackover. And for anyone who was trying to hear us on the radio, uh, they're having some issues at the station. We do apologize uh, for that, but we're doing what we can to bring you Dragon football wherever you may be. Good coverage by the Smackover kickoff unit too, getting you down there quick and shutting you know, shutting down Junction City before they get anything going on the return. And it'll be a quick pass out of the backfields. Cook, he gets a block from Haynes. He's, He's got, got the run. left sideline. Stops, makes a man miss, but loses his own balance, but not before he gets across midfield and down to the smack over 40. A nice play design right there. Logan Pepper, Cavante Haynes with the twins to the left. They got out and got some blocks for Cook, who did the rest with his feet, made a man miss. And he's down at to the smack over 40 yard line, but there is a flag on the play. Yeah, and I'm afraid this one's coming back. From the direction of the flag, it sits at about the Junction City 42. This one may be a clipping or a hold or something. It'll be interesting to see what the call is. White hat motioning to the Dragon sideline, probably to inform them of what the call, call is. Holding. And that will be a holding on. Junction City. So the biggest play for the Dragons tonight offensively will be negated on a holding penalty and that'll back Junction City up to I believe their they're going to mark it at the 28 yard line and so that's where it'll be first down and 12 after the spot foul. Yeah, I thought we had something going good and it gets called back. Rashard in the shotgun, Cook set to his left, might have moved a little earlier, they faked the reverse to Haynes, Cook still on his feet, unable to get out of the one guy that had the chance to bring him down. And I believe he got back to the original line of scrimmage, which is the 30 yard line. That'll bring up a second down and 10 with just about 90 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Smack over seven, Junction City zero. For those of you just joining us, the 42nd time these two programs have squared off on the old football field. They give to Cook straight ahead over the right side. And it looked like he might have had a uh, burst of speed there, but was met by that second level of the Buckaroo defense. And they stop him for a minimal gain, bring up about third down and seven. Well, that's what you were talking about, Jacob, uh, earlier when you saw him in Magnolia. You talking about Smackover got a lot of team speed. You saw it there. Cook had the hole, and they closed in immediately and shut it down. Third down and... We'll call it a long seven for Junction City. Richard, play action fake. Throws the spot pass. It's picked off. That's Javon Monica. Nobody's going to touch him. End zone. Touchdown. Smack over. This goes back to what I said. They got 10 guys in the box. When you got 10 in the box like that, they're not even really respecting the pass. We haven't really tried anything deep, so to speak, and they were laying in wait for that one. Great play. Give the Buckaroos credit. Great play by their defense. 
And Javon. It was Javon Monica, the recipient of the tipped pass. Richard was trying to do a spot pass, but Smackover had that one. They had guys all over that one. And Monica caught the football race to the end zone along the Junction City sideline. And the extra point from Williams sails left. But it's still a 13-point lead for the Buckaroos. 47 seconds to play in the first quarter. Smack over 13, Junction City zero. This is Junction City football on the Dragon Sports Network. We'll step aside for 60 seconds. Quarter. We're back at Buckaroo Stadium, and it's been all smack over so far. 13 to nothing is their lead over Junction City, and the Dragons are set to start another offensive drive. The last one looked promising after a big gain on the first play from scrimmage as Haynes lets that one bounce at about the 17. He'll pick it up at the 15. He'll work toward the right side, gets a couple of blocks, and makes one man miss, spins out of a tackle, and he gets up to the 30-yard line. And so, again, hey, Junction hurt. City with pretty good start. Here on, their, here on yet another offensive drive for the Dragons. Well, we got to get something going offensively. Again. You know, we had a, one little drive there to get into their territory, and then we ended up having to punt. But we have to get something consistently going, and we're going to have to get them out of the box. They are, they're ganging up there. You can see it, and I don't, you can't blame them. They don't respect our pass. They want to make us, force us to throw deep and show that we can. And until we do that, we're going to be facing about almost 10 in the box. Depending on how big your box, there's about nine in there right now as they quick pitch to Cookie, runs into one of his own blockers. And so really Junction City uh, struggling to get something going offensively as Cook's carry picks up, we'll say he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah. And right now the smack over defensive line winning that battle and winning it decisively. Twins to the left for Junction City. Richard, he's being pressured and he's got nowhere to go. Wrapped up and dropped for a loss. A big loss at that. Max Gathright on the sack for Junction, or for Smackover. And that'll do it for the first quarter of action. 13 to nothing. Smackover over Junction City after the first quarter of play. We'll step aside for 60 seconds. This is Junction City Football on the Dragon Sports Network. Thirteen to nothing is our score, and through the first twelve minutes of this ball game, Wayne, it has been all smack over early and often. Yes, the Buckaroos are showing 
that the team speed they had, they know how to use it, making it work uh, on two scores they've gotten and also on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, one of the things we talked about, and Coach Meeks brings this up all the time, it's that battle on the line. And right now, smack over controlling on both sides of the ball. And Junction City just looks at they haven't been able to get comfortable offensively. We saw the one big play from Cook there on this on their previous drive offensively. It was the first play, but it was negated by a holding penalty. And now on third and 21, they seem to have something going here. Thought they might have. Rashard slow to get it out of his hands. Actually wanted to get it out of it faster than Cook was ready to receive the football. And so it'll be about a six-yard game, but that'll bring up a fourth down and 15 for the Dragons here to start the second quarter. Smack over watching, they're steadily rotating a few guys in and out on that line. And you know what, they got a little bit of size they can throw out there too. I was looking at 50 coming in. It might be a quick kick opportunity for Junction City and that will be the case as it takes a Junction City bounce. It'll be picked up in a great open field tackle by Ja'Kyron Cook. I tell you what, if he <laughs> if he's not able to trip up Monica there, uh, he's going to uh, get along that Junction City sideline and start to dance, and it might would have ended up in six. I tell you what, they're scary, man. They have a lot of speed, and, it, and I mean, it shows. It. And you remember what Jimmy Johnson said, the Cowboys coach, uh, University of Miami coach back in the day, you can't teach speed. You either got it or you don't. Smackover's got it. And they've definitely unleashed it tonight here through the – we're about the first 13 minutes of game game action. 11-17 to play first half. Smack over football. They get they have a 13 to nothing lead over Junction City. Both teams enter this enter this contest 1 and 0. As the quick throw over to the right side spins out of a tackle. He's got the sideline finally forced out of bounds. It'll be a gain of about. Might have picked up the first down. They dropped the chains. We'll see where they raise it back up. And it's going to be about a gain of nine. I'm going to say he was right on it. Let's just, as, yeah. So it'll be a second down and one as Monica moved the football across midfield down into the Junction City 47-yard line. And again, you saw how fast. I mean, he turned on the dime. Boone in the shotgun. Again, they'll go quick this time to the left side. Jaquez, Monica, and his knee touches the ground. Some of the smack over faithful think his knee was not on the ground. Luckily for the Dragons, whistles did blow. It was, it was indeed a quick whistle. And so it'll be a loss of one, bring up a third down and two. And if you're Junction City, definitely trying to get off the yard defensively. Yeah. This will be an opportunity to do so. Well, we need a stop here. We need to get that offense back on the field. Need them to get something going. Smack over to go heavy right here. Shotgun formation. They'll keep it in tight. Just a lone receiver to each side. They're going to throw instead. And they've got a man in and out of his hands. Wow. I tell you what, if he catches it, that's a first down. If not more. Monica unable to hold on to the football. Well, with the way things are going, Jacob, I look for the Buckaroos to go for it. Everything's been going their way so far the first uh, let's just say 13 minutes of the game, 10:49 remaining second quarter. Uh, and Junction City's been unable to, to to prove otherwise that they can right. get something going offensively. So, and uh, they are not a bad not a bad decision right here to go for it on fourth and three. Ball at the 49 yard line of Junction City. Boone in the shotgun. Uh, he'll fake the throw and give. He's got the first down a little more. He's got He's a block gone. out there on the edge. Haynes is the only one that can get him. 10-5 touchdown, touchdown. Smack over. Touchdown Buckaroos. And again, once he got to the uh, side, there was no catching him. Crockett, I mean, it, great call, and we talked about it a while ago. They're getting one. They're getting. Uh, they're getting that cushion, and once they get that cushion, there's no catching them. You can't regroup and get. I mean, I don't know no. what else to say. You uh, can't regroup Haynes and get. Haynes was the only one that had an opportunity to get him, and he really didn't have a good angle at that. No. -uh. A uh, good block out there on the edge. By the time he realized Monica was by him, he was by him. <laughs> and that was all he could do as the snap goes awry. The extra point extra attempt point no will good. not be attempted. And so timeout on the field, 10.38 to play in the first half. Junction City staring down the deficit of a 19-point smack over lead. We'll step aside for 60 seconds. Dragon football on the Dragon Sports Network.
38 to play first half action. Junction City trailing by 19. And really unable to get anything going offensively. It's been all smack over here in this one so far. As Williams' kick will fall at about the 20 yard line, bounce out of bounds at about the 15. And so flags on the play. And it'll be a good field position for Junction City coming up. Well, offense is back on the field. And if we're going to have any chance of crawling back into this one, we need to get something going right now. And it ain't got to be nothing fast, just something steady. Get that offense, maybe get the running game going, but we've got to get them out of the box. They're bringing up at least eight. You know, we went back and looked at it. They're bringing up eight, nine people into the box, had as many as 10 one time. And it's hard to run. It's hard to block when you got that many on you. Junction's going to start with good field position from the 35 with the kick going out. So hopefully we can get something going. The work out of the pistol. Cook four yards behind Richard takes the snap. Cook gets the call. He'll work left side. He's got some running room, and he's got the dragon sideline. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. He's got a couple of men to beat. Pushed out of bounds and around, uh, we'll say, about the seven-yard line, but a big-time run by Ja'Kyron Cook. And just like that, Junction City needs a spark offensively. 58 yards later, and they're in, they're in striking distance. That, <laughs> well, that's what we need right there. I, mean, I don't know need. what else to say. Now let's capitalize on it. No better way to get the running game going than a 58-yard burst from Ja'Kyron Cook. They're actually going to mark him down at the out of bounds at the 10-yard line, not the 7, 55-yard tote from the junior. 10-27 to play second quarter action. Junction City trailing 19 to nothing, but best opportunity to score of the night. Handoff up the middle, Jamaye Carroll, and he crosses the goal line. Touchdown, That's Junction well, City. Good. It was doom and gloom, and then two plays later, and the Dragons find the scoreboard. And so, stop the presses yet. There's yeah. some life in that Junction City <laughs> offense. We got a few. Of course, I know these guys. We got some smack over people up here. They want to go ahead and start rubbing it in on me already, but uh, they got kind of quiet there. That kind of settled them down a little bit. And Dragons to go for two here. Richard in the pistol. Carroll set directly behind him. He'll get the call after the touchdown run, but nowhere to go. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. And the two-point try fails, but Junction City puts some points on the scoreboard. 10-24 to play, first half action. Smack over 19, Dragon 6. This is Junction City football on the Dragon Sports Network. We'll step aside for 60 seconds. First half action. Smack over 19, Junction City six. After a two play drive, it was a 55 yard run from Ja'Kyron Cook on first and 10 from their own 35. And then it was a 10 yard scoring run from Jamaya Carroll. And the Dragons have found the scoreboard. They still trail 13. And so hopefully that'll breathe some life into this Junction City team. They were looking a little down on that far sideline after that third smack over score of the night. The Dragons answer. What you need now is that defense to come out and put, get a three and out. Let's get that offense back on the field. Like we said, you ain't got to do it in a hurry. Of course, it don't hurt. You know, I don't I ain't going to complain. They want to run 55 yards. But let's just get the smack over stopped here, get the ball back, and get something else going again. Smith has things teed up from the right hash. Looks like he'll be trying to corner it down along the Dragon sideline. High kick. It'll be fielded. No fair catch at about the 30-yard line. Up the Dragon sideline. And he's got some running room. And there he goes. 20, he's 15, gone. 10, 5. Touchdown smack over. 
So the Dragons score, and Smackover Ranch answers on the ensuing kickoff. And a good, good play there by the, their special teams. Uh, not sure what happened to the coverage, but once he hit the sideline, Jacob, he was gone. We've seen five quarters of Dragon football this season. They've given up three kickoff return touchdowns. Two last week that almost cost them, and this one that just put them back in a 19-point hole. hole. Yep. Right when we were talking about, let's get the defense out there, let's shut them down, let's get the ball back, and boom, special teams hits us again. 10-17 to play. I believe that was Modica, number three. I believe so, yes. On the return. Took that one, uh, I believe that was 70 yards officially to the house. And smack over on to attempt the extra point. Williams has it teed up at the 10 yard line. Pending a, pending a successful try would put smack over up by 20 here with 10 17 to play in the first half. And now the Buckaroos are gonna huddle up. Officials talking to them. Well, if you junction, you get the ball. You try to get something going again offensively. Yeah, if you're Junction City, you yeah. just gotta try to keep chipping away. I mean, you had some success. You had some success there uh, on the uh, on their last drive, but unfortunately, uh, breakdown in special teams on the ensuing kickoff. You find yourself back in that 19-point hole. And well, there was a 15-yard penalty on us. That's what I, when I was watching the official see what he was signaling. So that'll be assessed on the kickoff. So we kind of dig that hole a little bit deeper. High snap, they get it down and the kick is even higher. I don't know if that one dropped in or not. And it, <laughs> it did. It, did. <laughs> it doesn't matter how they get through the uprights as long as they do. And no style points on that one, but 26 six is our score. 10 17 to play in the first half. Smack over. On top of Junction City, this is Dragon Football on the Dragon Sports Network. We'll step aside for 60. Buckaroo Stadium, Jacob Pumphrey with the Dragon Sports Network. I'm joined alongside Wayne Pumphrey. And I tell you what, Wayne, it's been all smack over. We've said that before, but literally, Dragons go two plays, 65 yards. They find the end zone for the first time tonight. Starting to feel good about yourself. You cut into a 19-point deficit, and then on the ensuing kickoff, coverage breaks down. The Bucks house one, and it's now a 20-point deficit for Junction City with 10-17 to play in the first half. And once again, here's something I think we've said this already a couple times. Buckaroo speed. That's what happened on the kickoff because he hit that sideline, and I believe that was Monica, and he was gone. There was a legal participation penalty on the Dragons, so the Buckaroos are kicking from the Junction City 45. And watch them be, a, they might try to be a little tricky here. Everything right now going their way. If you're just joining us on the radio, uh, if you're a Dragon fan, you haven't missed much. It's 26-2-6 is our score in favor of Smackover, and we've got whistles here on the kickoff as Williams has it. Williams has it teed up from the 45-yard line. Now they're going to say a false start on the kickoff, yep. and so that's going to back them up to the 50, and so they're still going to be kicking <laughs> 10, yards, 10 yards further down the field than they yeah. would, so hoping Junction can get a good return here.
a very, very windy night here in Buckaroo Land. I bet I say that wind, I think, has changed directions a couple times because I've moved one way and it hit me, and I moved the other trying to where I could keep the microphone out of it. Things are teed up, and it is going to be a line drive kick fielded by Ja'Kyron Cook at the six-yard line. He'll work back up toward the middle of the field. Slow reading, still on his feet. Wraps up out of one tackle, and he is going to be brought down at about the 34-yard line, just shy of the 35, and that's where Junction City will have it first down and 10 with 10.09 to play here in the first half. So, as we talked about before, Jacob, you're the Dragons. You get going. Or to get it going. Get this offense settled down, put together a nice little drive. You still got plenty of time. Get a touchdown here before the half and hold smack over out of that end zone. Go in, regroup, and come back. Single receiver to the left, single receiver to the right. Pistol formation for Richard and company. Cook the lone man behind the sophomore. And they'll switch. Carroll Hill move from left to right. They go heavy to the far side of the field. They give the Cook nowhere to go in the uh -huh. smack over defensive line is starting to have their way with the junction offensive line. They are just, I mean, Smackover has taken control for the most part. I would say 90% of this, of the plays, they have controlled the line. It will be a gain of about two. Again, they go back to the pistol. Same formation, hard count. They look toward the sideline. Coach Jones gives a signal. Richard looks to the backfield. He'll move Cook from behind him to his right. Takes a snap, quick draw, uh, quick set, excuse me, complete to Haynes. Uh, up to the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of about, we'll call it four yards. And it wasn't a bad throw by Rashard. He kept kept that one down, got it in there, and Haynes pulling it in. You kind of get Rashard kind of settled down so maybe you can get him into the flow of the thing, get him to kind of start growing into this offense some. Third down and four, very manageable here for the Dragons. 9-10 to play, first half. 26-20 excuse me, 26-6 is our score as Cook. He had a hole along the left side, but it was filled very quickly as he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. And now another fourth down coming for the Dragons. And with the way Smackover's offense has struck tonight, I mean, they've only scored twice offensively, but they've got one courtesy of a kickoff return and an interception return. And so it's probably going to be the quick, I believe the quick kick they're bunching at the top.